on the different phases of rational unified process, the third phase, the construction, is probably the most self-documentary phase of the software development. As it's the third phase of a software process, in rational unified process, it is meant mostly for the development of software and doing the quality assurance tasks. In the inception phase, where we made the required research into requirements and analysis to know that we have a profitable project, and in the elaboration phase, where we made the architecture and all the preliminary designs to ensure that we can make the software, the construction phase is more or less than just making the software. Well, obviously, saying that just making the software is a bit uh, stupid, since most of the software development happens here, and it's uh, definitely the most laborious phase of all the different phases. So the requirements are already gathered, as defined here, and the analysis workflow is more or less just ensuring that our designs and analysis for business cases, use cases, requirements and such are still valid. The design workflow starts heavily, but starts to decline during the construction, since we are getting closer and closer to the actually functioning software, so we have less parts and less components to design or revise to fit with the other designs. Obviously, the implementation is the main workflow here. Developing software, uh, writing source code, uh, creating assets, uh, making the video sound effects and other stuff if we, for example, would be making a game, is the main activity in the construction phase. Similarly, as we are doing construction and implementation, we also have to do testing work and quality assurance to ensure that our software is functioning correctly and it fulfills all the functional and non-functional requirements. Obviously, Considering the project life cycle and the main objectives, since the elaboration already built us the baseline architecture and feature specification, in construction we more or less just construct the product with the required quality requirements and based on the project plan that we had devised earlier in the elaboration phase. So. Overall, the construction phase aims in to produce the first operational quality version of the software product. This is in games usually called beta, beta release. It means that the product is complete and it has all the features, but it still hasn't been tested with real audience or real customers, or it hasn't been made functional in the target environment where we want to use the software. The emphasis on the construction is in the implementation and testing quality assurance and that sort of tasks. To ensure that the implementation is correct, fulfills all the requirements, and that the quality assurance ensures that all the requirements are met to satisfactory degree, or if we have to discard some requirements, then we know what we did discard and have a solid idea on what we actually did with the rest of the product. So, on documentation, well, these things are also added in the construction phase. Of course, besides uh, following the plan and updating the architecture, we also create the user manual and other manuals as appropriate in this phase. The artifacts, meaning the databases and client-side systems, server-side systems, obviously their beta, beta versions are made here. The architecture is completed, at least when the system is completely uh, realized or developed, and of course we follow the main uh, project management plan and uh, if necessary update the business case or business plans or do revisions on use cases if there's some necessary necessity to do so. One thing I'd like to focus on this uh, phase is that actually 
we are doing the development and all the other phases in iterations. Basically meaning that inside inception, inside elaboration, inside, especially inside construction and in the transition phase, which we'll be talking about later, we do iterations so that we add incrementally features or uh, fulfill the requirements in the product. This is something that can be done with Scrum or any other approach, but the idea is that we always reach for something that's understandable and near to us, and on each release we have something that functions and that can be tested, and all the quality assurance tasks can be done for that particular release. Finally, considering the important milestones, the construction phase starts with the baseline architecture, which is more or less the proof-of-concept prototypes, some basic uh, user interface test prototypes, and on paper or in well diagrams, all the activities and functions the system has. As we exit the construction, the idea is that we are initial capability. Uh, we have initial capability meaning that the product is implemented to its full extent and can be uh, put into use on the target platform or target environment or sold to customers or at least we can start doing final finalization testing work with the customers or people who are paying for the development of the software.